I would describe Desert Wing as kind of organic modern, if you will. If you stand on the outside and you look back at the home and you look at the roofs going up and you look at the rammed earth walls and then you look beyond, you see the mountain doing the same thing. So it's really a reflection of that. You know, that, that iconic view looking back, seeing the roof kind of soaring. I mean, it's, uh, it really looks like it wants to just kind of float off the top there and just kind of float across the desert. That whole roof rarely actually touches anything. It floats above those walls with a foot and a half of glass all the way around. We kind of started with this butterfly roof and the reason for that was because it collects water and we can take that rainwater, which is kind of a precious commodity here, and then use that and distribute it through. But also when you get into the home, the view beyond uh, is just really remarkable. And so I wanted the roof to kind of open up to that view. So when you came in, you had kind of a, a lower feel, but then it literally kind of crescendoed, if you will, towards the view. Pete and Lorelei wanted a home that celebrated the desert. When you come up and approach the home, basically you see something that looks like it's kind of integrated into the earth. We have a, an eight foot rammed earth wall that wraps around. Creating an outdoor room um, was really important because it allowed the house beyond that to be this kind of crystal and glass kind of see-through structure. Material-wise on the house, um, most people know it for the, the rammed earth. So rammed earth in its, um, in its kind of classic sense is where we take soil from the site. It's mixed with between five to 10% Portland cement. Essentially, they pour this very dry mix of rammed earth uh, about eight inches high, and then they ram it by hand down to four inches. So it's a very time-consuming uh, process, but when you're done, it's something that's just very unique. It, I, I always feel like it, it has kind of a spirit of the land that you're building in. Here it has a real precedent because, you know, of the Hohokam Indians and the Native Americans uh, that inhabited this area for, you know, thousands of years before we were here. They were building with rammed earth and, and their structures are still there. It's really kind of a step of going from almost that ancient ruin kind of feel and texture with the rammed earth to then kind of stepping up to that next level of refinement to the, the concrete walls to then that terrazzo concrete floor and then you get to the, uh, the, the finer pieces where you're really uh, intimate with like sinks and things like that um, where it's an even finer more refined uh, material, but it's all essentially the same material from kind of start to finish. There's always fire, there's always water, pretty much from every view. We used water strategically, not just to see it, we also strategically placed the water so that um, as the breeze is drawn through the house, that air cools down maybe five degrees, before it's actually drawn through the house. So we don't just use water decoratively, but we use it for passive cooling techniques. I usually think of when I have a, a concept for a main space like that pavilion-like roof, the master bedroom almost becomes a mini version of that, if you will. And so it has a similar kind of roof experience, but it's much lower, um, so it has a much more intimate scale. And then literally it's just glass all the way around the corner um, looking out into the amazing desert view. So that's the view you have every morning waking up, that's the view you have going to bed.
You see a lot of homes out here where um, they have a separate guest house or guest casita. They wanted their family to feel like they're part of the, the bigger home, but again, be able to give them their own privacy when they want it. So they have a separate front door, a separate courtyard off of one side. They could have guests come and stay there when Pete and Lorelei aren't even in the main home, when they're not even in the country, and they feel like they have their own little world there. When people see nature on a regular basis, they're healthier, they're happier, and I, and I want people to be healthy and happy in my houses and do as much as I can. But it's, it's not so much the style, it's more the philosophy that when you have different materials come together, they should kind of celebrate and embrace each other.